Growing up as a kid was really tough. Um, I mean, we, we live in the St. Paul East Side. We live in a better area, but then kind of, we were at like borderline, was like really ghetto as well too. Um, it was tough, you know, you hung out with the wrong crowd sometimes and you know, you get into trouble. I was introduced to breaking when I was about like five, like four to five years old. Um, seeing my uncle and him, uh, flying and spinning on the head, you know, when at, at a young age just inspired me to uh, kind of like start getting down. But I didn't really start until I got older. Definition of a crew for me is definitely uh, experiencing with my crew members and we're like family, you know. Definitely, those are, that's my definition of a crew. Breaking benefited me because when I was younger, you know, I was kind of a troublemaker. Um, kind of, uh, kind of steered me in a better way, you know. Um, I was pretty bad as a, as a youngin, but, uh, you know, breaking kind of helped me get on track, you know, to even help me stay in school. I try to motivate myself. It's a self-motivated thing. You, uh, I, you know, it's tough because you're always consistently moving, and you know, you you want to do it. You want to keep practicing, but you know, you have responsibilities and priorities to to handle. But uh, how I do it is definitely through planning and scheduling, and just really, really pushing, pushing myself to to actually achieve those goals. Because every week, you know, you want to achieve a goal. It could be daily, or it could be every week. You know, like you you just have to push yourself. It's something that I'm really passionate about, and when you're passionate about something. You definitely want to push for it, you know, and you want it to happen. Regardless, you know, you know, a lazy person will make excuses, but then a person who is actually really passionate, you can see and you can tell that they're, they're, they want it, you know, they're hungry for it, you know. Just like, just like how when you go into a battle, you're hungry for it, you know. So I, I use that as the same way as to work, raising the kids, and, and breaking, definitely. It's, it's hard to overcome something that you, you think like overthinking it, it's hard to overcome. But then as, as you forget about what you're gonna do, you, you're listening to the music at the same time and you're just trying to vibe out. So definitely uh, vibing help, helps out, you know, like just getting down in ciphers and stuff like that before a battle starts, that definitely will help out too. When I first started, you know, I didn't really know what to think. You know, sometimes as a new b-boy, you know, you you kind of get brain farted, you know, but as you get older, you start to adapt to what you're supposed to be doing in a battle. So definitely through learning through battles and stuff like that. And, you know, you, you kind of pick up off uh, those little bits and pieces. So that definitely helped um, create a mentality. So my mentality was very dynamic. Um, I wasn't afraid to get into people's faces, you know, but what hap whatever happens in the battle stays in the battle, you know. But outside the battle, you know, I was cool with everybody, you know. But that was one thing, you know, about my mentality was kind of kind of uh, understanding because we're a newer generation of b boys. So you know, you kind of want to be cool with everybody at the same time, you but you don't want to be too at the same time. But anything that happens on the floor stays on the floor, and outside of that, you know, definitely, you know, it was up to you. You know, you either stay humble or you. You know what I'm saying? You were a jerk, you know. Uh, I think a lot of people are afraid of uh, afraid of young people getting together, you know, um, doing something that even if it's positive, you know, I think they're afraid that they're afraid of large groups getting together. That's one thing with hip hop. Um, but really, you know, they, they're too quick to judge, you know, the book, you know, they haven't even read the book yet. It's like, you haven't read the book and you're still judging it, you know, it's like, don't judge his books by cover, you know. So what I think about it is, you know, people are afraid of uh, people getting together, young people getting together for sure. Yeah, I do want my kids to be involved in uh, hip hop or 
anything that's related to hip hop because hip hop is sort of like a uh, it's an outlet for you to be yourself. It helps you be free. Uh, you know, a lot of people won't judge you because you know hip hop means you can do anything. You know, talking about breaking to popping to even doing art. You know, uh, graffiti is hip hop. Uh, you know, DJing and rapping. You know, MCing and stuff like that. Those are very important because it helps you find your true self. And then when you do find yourself, you realize that everybody is the same. You know, you start searching for your soul and you find it and you can connect with people and, and integrated with a lot of things you know uh, you could you could be yourself and not be afraid that's the most important thing you know so that's why I want my children to be involved in it so that they're not looking for their identity you know um, through through hip-hop and through breaking it helped me find myself as a person and as a father and you know it made me a better person you know so I want my kids to be involved as much as they want to, but I will never force it upon them though. What I hope for uh, for them to benefit from it is uh, definitely uh, being true, you know, to yourself, you know, if it, you know, it, it helps bring the artistic side of you out, you know, and it sh shed some light on it because everybody deserves a chance to be heard, you know, and, uh, your voice to be heard. Okay, get up and do what? Okay, go forward, right? Now, all right, now keep adding on, yo. Okay. Uh, my future plans for you know, be born in hip hop. Uh, definitely just being around the community for sure, giving back to the community. Um, I teach classes at Cypher Side, you know, obviously I have it on my shirt. Um, those are my goals, man. Um, you know, I've had my fair shares of uh, competing and stuff like that. You know, I obviously gonna keep competing, but like on a bigger scale, I kind of want to give back to the community by, you know, if te not teaching my community, you know, to my kids or to my cousins or any to my nephews and my nieces as well, those are my goals for short for giving back.